Hi, and welcome yet again to Forgotten Temples. If you can read the signs, if you can read the details, you can decode how these temples were built. Now, I was walking away after doing the next segment you're about to see, and then I looked down at my feet, and what I saw literally took my breath away. I just went, oh my God. So, it's well worth watching this because I've never seen anything like it. And to me, it is just, wow. And it's here on the edge of the jungle that we can find a small quarry. And my goodness, what a tale it tells. Have a look at this. This obviously was one piece of stone and they've taken out a big long block which could have been used as a pillar or a lintel or we don't know what and we can tell how they did this what they've done is they've dug a channel with metal tools so we go down 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 bang 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 and we dig out this trough we then do the exact same on the other side and once these two troughs approximately a hand wide a width a dug then another is placed here now look this is slightly wider than hands width and it's very difficult for me to film this on my own but it is about an arm length long and they would drive something into here now it could well have been a wooden um, wedge which then you can put water in and it expands but if we go up our gully here we find yet another indentation here so we have one going this way and this second one which comes in this way which again could have had a wooden wedge placed into it then water is applied it swells and pop it literally comes up like that but when i was walking away i came down here and then i thought i know i'll just go up here because there's my bike and fate has an awful lot to do with these things. And I honestly believe the temple gods are with me, but not in a religious way. I honestly believe that there's something that guides me on because I just keep getting luck like this. And you're probably thinking, what luck? Well, it's in your screen. It is right there in front of you and it is bloody amazing. Look closer. Can you see all the little priests repeated over and over again? And here, and here, they're weathered. But look at them all. You see them in a line. It's the same thing being repeated, exactly the same. But then I cast my fur eye further over, and this is what astonished me. We have the exact same going on here. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, why would these be here? This is a quarry. I mean, just look at these ancient gods. So why is this? I could be wrong. I need to go away and find out. But it makes sense if we add just one sentence to this story. Now, the one sentence that we can add to this story that makes this all come into a perfect light and become true and a bit like Sherlock Holmes used to say and I was a massive fan as a child I used to try and think 
like Holmes. And what Holmes would say is once you've eliminated what you know not to be true, whatever's left, no matter how obscure or bizarre it is, that is the truth. And why we have a long line here of larger ones, and just to my right, we have a long line of smaller ones. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And it's because, and why are they at this quarry? Well, you ain't gonna <laughs> send people to do this kind of work at a temple. I would say this is where you come to show your skills to the master craftsman before they let you loose on a temple. Or this is where you would come and practice, hence the repeat, 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 repeat. Or potentially they would cut these away when they're finished. But I'm taking that away in a Sherlock Holmes sort of style. I'm saying, no, let's deduct that one. And the reason is, why would you, because these are in relief, you have to chip all this away and go in. Why would you do this work and then risk the chance that when you cut, the rock breaks and you've just wasted all this time? Because doing the detail, like anything in life, is what is so time consuming. Why not just cut the block to size and then do the detail? Which leaves us with our conclusion. We have a long line of gods, priests here, and a long line of smaller ones there. And this was kind of like a school, I would say where you would show your skills or you would hone your skills. And just like a school, and this is what's making me smile, is in a modern school you have the desks all lined up, don't you? There's desk, 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 and then desk, 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 desk. You know, and everyone's scribbling, doing the same bloody thing. Every kid is doing the same thing, and it's the same at university and so on. Well, here, we have, boom, 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 we have all these different, you know, um, pieces of work. And over here, we have like junior school, which is the same. But you can imagine there would be one person sitting here doing this one. And just to his right, there's another person doing his and so on and so on. Exactly like those desks at school. They're all lined up and they're all chipping away. <laughs> and I've just had another thought, is you can imagine the guy that was sitting here and he's doing his one, chip, 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 chip. And you know, you just know that the guy who sat here and nobody's ever thought of this, I promise, since the day these people turned to dust and blew away in the wind, is he sat here doing this and he looked at his work and tried to copy a bit or cheat a bit. <laughs> you just know it because <laughs> when you're lined up against other students, competitors, workmen, whatever, is you're always looking at that guy's work as well. And don't think it is just the face that was used. Because if we come up, what we see is a kind of scribble pad, you know, where you try different things. Because on the face of this rock here, we have those basque reliefs of all those different characters. On top, we have what looks like practice for making the Shiva lingas, the circle with the square. And look at this square, it's not very well done. And again here, and again here, where somebody's come along and built it up. And if we look at the edges, we can clearly see how roughly these are finished. These are not very good at all, but they don't have to be. It's for practice. You don't want to spend too much time, you know, polishing them off and refining them. And why would you build, put your faces here and your gods here, and these here. You wouldn't, because if these were to be removed, what's the point in putting these here? It's counterproductive. And that, 
only leads me further to believe that this was a kind of school to prove your skills or to practice. So here it is, an opportunistic find. I mean, I honestly hope that you are as excited as I am. I mean, I just came down this path because it looked good and just maybe, and the, the rocks, the way they were so flat intrigued me. But wow, I never thought I would find this because I'm only that far away from touching where these ancient master craftsmen were. And I'm sitting exactly where they sat. And there calls a single bird. <laughs> Doing this is a very strange thing because one is just left absolutely flabbergasted sometimes. This has been an incredible moment. I am deeply in love with this place. But it is time for me to pull my head together and finish in the usual tone, which is to say, please like, subscribe, but above all, comment on this one. And if by chance you can drop a few coins um, to let me, um, to help me get that little bit further down these dusty roads to build this library, I would be truly mwah, grateful. So until next time, this is Mr. B wishing you absolutely nothing but the very best. You take good care.